is up everybody this is Eric the one and only Bay Area Collector and today I'm bringing you a game review for the Nintendo of an interesting game and a really cool game that I that I like for the Nintendo Entertainment System and that game is Faxanadu. Um, now this game came out back in 1989 on the Nintendo. Um, originally this game is, is part of a, of a video game franchise um, called the Dragon Slayer series. Um, and it's actually like a, um, a spin-off of the series. Now the name Faxanadu is actually a combination of the name um, of the name Famicom and Xanadu. I don't know if many of you have already heard of the game Xanadu before and it's a popular RPG series and actually the RPG series was started by the company um, let me see if I can focus uh, Nihon Falcom which actually um, actually brought out such great RPGs such as the Legend of Heroes and the E series um, this one however it was a spin-off of that series of the series of the Xanadu series um, anyways uh, in this game um, you play um, an elf who comes back after a long travel um, to find his homeland being um, in conflict with the with the dwarves. Um, for some reason, the dwarves have gone mad after a, a meteorite. <clears throat> excuse me, after a me meteorite crashes into the area, and um, the the dwarves have poisoned the water source of the world tree, which is the reason why you see that emblem. Um, it's based upon a big tree and. In the game, you travel throughout the big tree to reach to the bottom of, of the whole situation. Um, this gameplay is very, very similar to the games like Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link and Ease 3 Wonders of Ease, um, which is a 2D side-scrolling action RPG. Um, in the game, you collect money, experience to level up your character. Um, you collect various weapons, go visit various towns. And one thing that's really cool that I like about this game is that the music is off the hook. It's, it's pretty catchy. Um, another thing is the gameplay is, is rather fun. However, the only thing um, that that I don't dig is is the controls for the game. You kind of like the when you jump, it gets kind of clunky, and you'll end up seeing it when um, when you see me do the gameplay in a little bit. Um, however, um, overall, it's a, it's a really fun and fantastic, great game. Now, this game was very popular um, back in the days when I was growing up. I used to see it every everywhere at the flea market. You could get a copy of this with book and instructions for rather cheap. Um, I remember my original, um, the original time that I owned this game, I, I got it for really cheap, um, complete and everything. Nowadays, this game runs for, for fairly cheap, so it doesn't cost a lot of money, but it's a great game. Um, the, the game that precedes the Santa Do is a game called, um, Romancia or Dragon Slayer Jr. for the Famicom, and I actually own that game. Um, but I haven't really played it yet, but, um, this is a very fun game. I highly recommend it. it it's funny how, um, not only that, one more thing is that this, um, in a couple of episodes of Captain N, the Game Master, they, um, they, the main theme of the, of the episodes are based upon the, the land of, of this area. Or they, they kind of go into this land, you know, in the cartoon. But going back to the game, um, you know, this is, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people haven't really, um, fallen into this game, like really playing it because it's a fun game and I and I really recommend it. It's not that bad. The music is catchy. Controls may be a little bit um, clunky, but other than that, it makes for an overall fun experience. So anyways, um, this has been my little review of Faxanadu. Another game that I want to mention that falls into the same series, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, is Legacy of the Wizard for the NES. That game, I believe that in the main Dragon Slayer series, that's part four. Um, you have um, Dragon Slayer, Sanadu, um, you have Romancia, Dragon Slayer Jr., and then and then um, you have Legacy of the Wizard. Now, for some reason, these games are not like they don't follow the the storyline. They're just part of the series, but. Um, they're fant all of these games I mentioned, uh, some of these games are really fun. I haven't played some of them, but, um, you know, like Faxanadu, Legacy of the Wizard, all of those games are rather fun. So anyways, please go ahead and enjoy the, um, the gameplay of the game. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.